double arm swing to shoulder press. So two dumbbells in your hands. You're going to swing them behind you, then come up and press. Swing, press. Dumbbell snatch it. So you want a weight on the ground in front of you. You're gonna reach down, grab it, snatch it all the way up. Down, alternate, snatch it all the way up. Just, just continuously do this movement in a nice controlled manner. Okay. So you're gonna do a jumping jack. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold one weight in your hand on its ends, and then you're going to kick the legs out while pressing the weight up overhead. Open your arms straight up and open your feet up. Bring them both together. So as a jumping jack, you just want to open and close your arms. Front raise complex. So you're going to raise the weights up with an overhand grip. So your palms are facing your body. Then you're going to switch um, your grip so now your palms are facing each other, and then you're gonna switch them again to a reverse grip, and then you raise them up. So it's just three levels of your grip. Overhand, palms facing each other, and reverse grip. to raise it up and down. So you see that my arm is straight. You're going to be working your delts, which is behind your shoulders. You'll do the same amount on the other arm. Behind the back thigh raises. So you want to place the weight behind your back. And you're going to lift one up at a time. Then the other one, and then bring one down and down. Up, up, down, down. So you see how I'm kind of, <clears throat> my shoulders are back, and my body's kind of lean back a little bit. And I'm just raising them up. So you want to come on your knees, sit on your, um, you can sit on the heels of your feet, place the bar above your head, you're going to drop it behind and in front. So if you have, a, you have a weighted plate, you'll use that. If not, I'll show it to you with a regular dumbbell. So you're just going to rotate the plate up while moving it to shoulder level and then back down. Now, if you're using a dumbbell, just hold it by the ends and do the same thing. Shoulder level. That will be one breath. Kettlebell pause, upright drop. So if you have the kettlebell, you'll use that. 
that. If not, you just use a regular weight. So you're gonna bring the weight up to your chest and you wanna hold here for about a count of three. One, two, three, down. Nice and controlled. Up, hold, one, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. Let's chop. So you're gonna lay down on your back. Feet straight up in the air and dumbbell behind you. So you're going to come up, and as you come up, you're gonna spread your legs open and drop the weight in between your legs. And then back down. Up, and then back down. Make sure you raise your shoulders and your chest off the ground as much as possible. And then down. So you wanna use your couch, a bench, a chair, you want to elevate your body you get into a plank position on this elevated surface and then you're just going to alternate touching your shoulders opposite hand opposite shoulder you see how my butt is down my body's in one line here one straight line keep those abs nice and tight to a bare plank position. So that's on your hands and your knees raised off the ground just a little bit in line with your hips. And what you can do is you're gonna extend one leg out at a time. Straight out to the side. into plank knee twist. So you're going to get into a plank position. You're going to drive your knee up to your elbow, back out, and then cross it over to the other side. So it's up and cross over. So I'll show you from a different angle. So up to the side and then cross over to the other. Work one side at a time, unless the exercise indicates otherwise. So you're going to lean back on your mat, extend your legs out, point your toes forward, and you're going to flutter your feet up and down. Drop them down. So drive them in, extend straight up, drop them 